Hello there. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been slowly moving into a creative and filming studio for a while now. And this is very exciting. <laughs> this is a long time coming. And as much as I am trying to play it like cool and calm and collected today, Internally, I'm still a little bit freaking out that this is finally real. Now, with that being said, we are still very much in the process of build out right now. So, so much of like everything that you see right now is gonna be evolving and changing in the next couple of months, but we're in somewhat of a workable space right now. So I thought we would start filming now and then kind of take you along for the rest of this evolution. Lots to come, very exciting, but we're gonna talk about coffee today. That hasn't changed at all. Now, as we dive into today's topic, I think I need to put kind of a warning on this video because we are talking about two different ways to combine hot water and espresso. And so we're all gonna treat each other with peace and love. We're gonna be calm and civil in our discussion of these two drinks. And we're gonna have a nice time because it's coffee. We all enjoy it. Let's enjoy it together today. We are gonna talk about the long black versus the Americano. Our agenda today is to talk about the history and origins of these two drinks. We are gonna build both of them and talk about the differences between them. And then additionally, we may decide which one is the better drink. Controversial, I know, let's get started. We're gonna start off today with the Americano. This is a drink that is a combination of water and espresso together. It is a very popular and kind of a staple drink across American cafes and coffee culture specifically. Uh, and it originates from wartime when American soldiers uh, were stationed in Italy. Now, if you don't know, um, especially in the States, we really like our drip coffee, <laughs> filter coffee, and specifically like the diner style drip coffee is, is very prevalent here in American coffee culture. So when soldiers were stationed in Italy, where they primarily focused on drinking like strong, dark, rich espressos, those soldiers wanted to create something that was at least like a somewhat close approximation to what they drank at home. And so they took those espressos and they added water to it and they got something that was kind of similar to a drip coffee. And that became the Americano. On the other side of the world, we have the long black. Uh, this is again, a combination of water and espresso. However, this is a drink that is very distinct to Australia and New Zealand. The exact origins of this drink are a little bit more ambiguous. What everyone seems to have kind of collectively decided is that this drink kind of found its way to Australia and New Zealand, probably from the same place it originated as an Americano. Um, however, Australia and New Zealand have taken it, they have kind of perfected it, and they've made it a staple of their coffee culture. We're gonna make these drinks and we're gonna talk about the differences between them. So I'm gonna go pull some espresso, be right back. I want to give a huge thanks to Trade for sponsoring today's video. Trade Coffee is a coffee subscription service that makes it easy to discover new coffees and roasters from all over the US. With over 55 roasters and over 450 unique coffees to choose from, there's something for everyone. My most recent back of Trade is this blend from Cerberus Coffee in Jacksonville, Oregon. It's a three origin blend with coffees from Brazil, Honduras, and Peru. The flavor profile is balanced with chocolate forward sweetness and a medium red berry acidity. Truly, this is a coffee that takes very little effort to enjoy. It's that nice. One of the other great parts about Trade is that you can set up your coffee delivery to the schedule that works best for you, whether you're crushing multiple bags a week or sipping a little bit slower. The coffee arrives freshly roasted to your front door and all you have to do is figure out how you want to enjoy it. Right now, Trade is offering one of their best deals if you're ready to get started. Head over to drinktrade.com MDC today to sign up and save $15 on select plans. Plus, you'll get your first bag of coffee for free. That's drinktrade.com slash MDC or the top link in the description. Okay, just like that, we have everything we need. We talked about the Americano first in terms of history. However, for the sake of comparison of these like build types, I want to start with the long black. Now you'll notice off the bat, the long black is the smaller of the two cups. Now this drink has a very specific size and ratio associated with it. The long black typically has between 100 mils and 150 mils of hot water, and then a double shot of espresso. The drink usually goes no more than about 200 mils um, of beverage in total. However, it's usually even smaller than that. We also have a very distinct order of operations. So we're gonna be starting with our hot water. I'm gonna go in with about 125 mils. That's usually a nice amount. Hot water in, and then very carefully, 
float your espresso on top. So get it as close to that surface as you can and then carefully pour it in. By pouring in the espresso second and also being kind of cautious about the way you pour it in, you're able to retain a lot of that crema on top of the drink as it just kind of floats on the surface of the water. You can also achieve a very similar effect if you choose to put your glass of hot water um, underneath your portafilter and then pull the espresso uh, directly over the water. However, I don't prefer to do this in case I have a shot that accidentally channels or like something goes wrong or what have you. I would prefer not to have to like re-clean my glass. So I prefer to pull into a shot glass and then float from there. This is a long black. That's a pretty easy build. Let's take a sip. I should have put it in a double walled glass for sure. However, it's a nice tasting beverage. This is a small enough proportion of water to espresso uh, that you still get a good amount of nuance from the espresso flavor. It's still kind of punchy. Additionally, it's got like a nice mouthfeel to it because you have so much solid, like concentrated in there from a tighter ratio of espresso to water. The more you add water, the less of that kind of nice, like nice mouthfeel that you get. That's as good as I'm describing that today. That's a long black. Let's make an Americano. Off the bat, you can see larger cup. And this is where the Americano really starts to divert uh, from the long black. And that's in the amount of customizations you can do with the Americano. The long black has a pretty strict uh, set of requirements to it. Whereas an Americano, you can you kind of play around with it. If you go into a cafe and you order an Americano, you're likely not gonna get an immediate like, yes, I'll make that for you. You're likely gonna get a couple of questions. First of all, what size do you want? Traditionally, Americanos will range anywhere from kind of this size, maybe up to like 250 mils in total, to like 475 mils. That's kind of an eight ounce to 16 ounce range. Additionally, they might ask if you want it hot or iced, or they might even ask if you want room for cream and sugar. We very much like to, to doctor up our drinks. Now, when it comes to making an Americano, there's also a, a little bit of debate as to what the order is here. There's kind of this like distinction that I see a lot of videos specifically online like to make in the fact that a long black um, is hot water and then espresso, and then an Americano is espresso and then hot water. Is this true in some places? I am sure it is. However, anecdotally, I can tell you that no cafe that I've ever worked in has asked uh, to put the espresso in first and then the hot water. It has always been hot water first, and then espresso. So that takes out that difference at least. I'm gonna make like a, a medium sized Americano here. We'll go in with about 275 mils of water. Nice. And then once more, our espresso. At least this cup is double walled so I can hold it with safety. Cheers. Also, a nice drink. Now, it's definitely different from this one we made over here. It has the same amount of espresso, but more water, which means, of course, you lose a lot of that kind of like thicker, more like viscous mouthfeel. Um, you lose more of that like espresso forward flavor. However, this is still very sippable. It's still very enjoyable. This is definitely like a, a close approximation to like some filter coffee that you might brew. Now, when we look at these two side by side, and when I hear people like passionately discussing or sometimes even arguing the difference between these and like which is better and like how do you make it, there's kind of like another comparison that comes to mind to me. I kind of view the long black to the Americano the same way I view the cappuccino to the latte. One of them, that being the cappuccino and the long black, have a pretty set structure around them. They have a size that they're pretty consistently served in. They have like a methodology to the preparation, either being that the milk steaming or the layering of the two beverages inside this. Whereas you then have something like a latte or an Americano. These are drinks that allow for a lot more variance and customization. They are technically like kind of the same drink, um, but they function very differently for different people. Again, you can do this one in different sizes. You can do it hot or iced or cold or lukewarm if you prefer that. You can add cream or sugar or both or whatever have you. You can really make this one your own, whereas this one kind of comes in a way where you're expected to enjoy it just as it is. I said at the beginning of the video, 
that we were gonna choose which one was better. <laughs> and truly, there is like not an answer to that. Um, these are very similar drinks that serve different purposes and whichever one tastes better to you, it's gonna be the better one for you. One of the most interesting things, and honestly the most fun for me things about coffee is that coffee shares so many origins. Like coffee drinks share so many like origins. However, as coffee expands, as it became more global, those drinks and like iconic pieces of coffee culture have very much evolved to be very regional, which means we can use similar words, but they'll often mean different things based on where you are. And I think that's very, very true of this drink. So with that being said, if you have experiences with Americanos or long blacks or anecdotes or thoughts or preferences, I would love to hear them in the comments down below, just because this is something that I find really interesting. And I think there is no possible way that I could have experienced every variation of these. So do share yours. As to which one I prefer more, if you, if you really care about those things, I will say I lean much more towards a very short drink, a long black, or as when I was growing up in like being a barista and specialty coffee, we called this drink like a little buddy <laughs> in my cafe. I like this size. You taste more of the espresso. I think it's a pleasant drinking experience, but again, that is me. It is not the definitively best drink, it's just what works best, in my opinion. So, with that being said, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go drink the rest of this and also transfer it <laughs> into a double-walled glass. So, my name is Morgan, I'm here on YouTube once a week. I'm also on Shorts and then Instagram and TikTok almost every single day. I kinda forgot how to do this. <laughs> Regardless, I hope this was fun for you. I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time. So I hope you have a good week. Bye, everyone.